version. Let's jump onto the rift for game number one. Yeah, really well done there by KT. That was a hard dive to pull off. I think Judo played it about as well as you could. The turret it just isn't able to farm out too much. Farming Cinder now in hand. And as the arrow going to fly on over. He's burning down. Finally, someone dies. The health bars are so extraordinarily low. And finally, Bulldog, he will go down. Cuz out of life as well. But now the Dusante is marching his way forward. Deft going to be very difficult to get out of this one. And there is the flash forward. And Kwanong Feet Freaks will win the fight. Cuz he's going to be able to grab the turret. And OK, Kyosha could be in trouble. There is the Nature's Grass just to try and get him out of there. But uh, he will be all right. And it does have a pest. This seems risky to me. It certainly does. Uh, well, they're still going to look for it. As there's the Glacial Prison. That was beautifully landed. Couldn't buffer that one. That is going to be at least the Herald secured here by the Quantum Freaks as the Shadow Dawns over Cuz. To get him out of the way, the arrow is going to come through. A barrel can't cleanse that one, but still the lick is coming through. He's going to be denied there. It's a great ultimate from BDD, but now Dudu's in amongst it. There's a kidnap on Ipyoshik. Not exactly optimal, but now Bulldog's looking for the resets, but BDD gets into the fog of war. It doesn't matter. Dudu is just too big. He's able to take down Barrel, and now Casting just trying to find something back, but he is dead as well, and KT are crumbling. And Quanlong Freaks will get that soul point they were looking for. The amount of damage that could be raining down in the meantime. Casting moving away from Bulldog. The skies descend as the Dawning Shadow does a fair bit of work, but this is where the Seraphine can find her options as Beryl dives forward. Dudu looking for death. Good flash to get him out of the way, but Beryl is very dead. Just uh, as the game goes on. And you now Beryl, Arrow is going to connect onto the Tom Kench. Deft in position, but there's not enough Grey Health for him to eat here. As now BDD, he turns up, but he's just a little bit too late. Is that, that you on the flank as well? This is so hard to play. Well, Gosha going to try and get and his He it. steals it! All right, well, he's going to be sacrificed. Deft also is well and truly out of position. So they lose two. Beryl is still dead as well. So teleport to come in, though, as the Kasante is coming back. Great Uncle onto Beryl. He does have some great health to eat, but I just don't think it's going to be enough to keep him alive. It's now BDD just getting chunked out by Bulldog, who's getting the resets. He finds another one. He's just playing Mario on the Rift here, is now casting Welcome to the LCK. And uh, unfortunately, the first one is going to be an L by the looks of things. Is Bulldog going to be able to grab the ace? His Tristano looking absolutely incredible here. They didn't let any opportunity for Pyoshi to steal. And now they're getting their 1-0 in the series. One up, Freaks. 1-0 up against KT. Because the amount of damage he did, yeah. kind of absurd. <laughs> You know, and a very different looking draft. A little bit more early power here for KT. We'll, well, you can see casting. He started it up. Ruthless Predator going to connect this time around. He's got the dice ready. It's almost just a solo kill as the flash forward from Pryoshik is going to guarantee it. Dudu didn't pl press his flash button. So that is good news, but still first blood on the top side of the map once again for KT. R is old here. He's jumped a little bit further forward than he was otherwise like. He's casting once again almost towards a solo kill, and he's now looking to try and deliver this one over to BDD. It doesn't quite work out, and casting's going to have to tell. Oh! Whoa! He walks back and gets himself killed. He was like, no, dude, -do, you deserve this one. And that's why they didn't pick Talia in game number one to make sure that his debut wasn't against a champion that he has uh, struggled into in the past. That is a great shove, though, from BDD onto Andal, but already it started off poorly here for KT. A one-for-one one in the end, support for Jungler. is now Barrel. That encore was not it. Now Def will finally turn up. Another phenomenal seismic shove going to come in as Def finally has the arrows, but it's just not going to be enough. Leaper dives on top of him, and it's a triple, almost a quadra kill for Bulldog, but Leaper takes it in the end. And the seismic shoves are really good. I think feel like BDD played it quite well, but uh, Bulldog just right-clicked. And now Andal's in the top lane, and that is a nice little hook. Going to be set up brilliantly there. The Dominus not quite going to be enough, but at least the Q doing some work. And now a flash forward from Yoshik finds the punch under the Camille once again. There it is landing this time around. Very easy on a stationary target. And Deft now just getting completely torn to shreds. Valkyrie forward from Bulldog. Cleanse from Deft. He gets out of dodge, but BDD may not be in a good enough position. And now Casting, he's making his way in three low health members. This is so scary. And the seismic shove onto the rocks from BDD. And he secures his target. And now this huge crocodile is looking for Leaper. He does have a trap in place. Also looking like a different player to, to what Perfect was, right? I feel like Perfect was 
Often one of these more utility-based top laners is I'm going to have to hold that thought for a moment. BDD in trouble. Hook going to connect. And there it is. Encore not going to be landing here either as Kyoshi going to do some Overwatch tactics here as he's looking to try and, uh, you know, stagger the back, stagger that's the actually, resets. That's pretty big because Dragon's up in 20 seconds. So Very long turn, but you can see now KT, they know Bulldog's still down, still unavailable. Down to 50% is now Andal's just flashing forward, manages to get the hook, but he's taking so much damage. He's first one to go down. BDD goes golden as well to survive through it, and now the Ash is tearing them to shreds. Casting gets amongst it. He's going down like paper, like you were saying. But Deft is still raining hell on them. There's the Weaver's Wall. The flash comes out from Dudu, and Quandong Freaks are just pushed away from this Dragon Pit. It's a hook as well. Is now Barrel. He had to flash to get out of the way of that one, but he cannot flash again, so he's just dead. So it's not only a Baron, but it's also a pick. Death trying to offer some damage back. This wasn't going to be enough. Is Arrow going to connect onto Leaper here? He flashes over the wall after the cleanse. That's both summoner spells now down. Weaver's Wall coming in. Arndil in no man's land, and Dudu is with him and is now casting. He's going to come in. The Hextech ultimatum to try and avoid some of the damage. And Quantum Freaks get the first two kills of the fight. BDD looking for more. The health bars are so incredibly low. Is BDD finally able to go into that Zonyas to keep himself alive? Oh. Leaper finds the shot and just ends the Renekton. And now Kuz flashes forward with the Bramble Smash. And that is the ace for the Quantum Freaks. Vaguely tanky. They have Cease and assist, and they say no to Bulldog. He is very, very dead. KT finding a little bit of respite here. Doesn't have cease and assist now, but there's the Weaver's Wall from BDD. Looks for the opportunity oh. on the leap, who just walks over to the side. Andal might be taken down here as Pyoshik in trouble. Def just flying forward, finds the Jin. BDD once again, and expertly used Zonyas just to bait them through. And Dudu couldn't find anything for it, and KT have come alive. That is all they have to do is now Bulldog. He is once again going to eat a cease and desist, and he's all by himself casting, dives over the Baron wall as well, and KT, an expertly played Baron. They will be able to lock that one down, and the Weaver's Wall will be able to knock Leaper out of it, even though the Edge of Night was there as BDD. He's getting taken down low, but he has that Zonyas is now pulled up, gonna get pushed back. BDD thrown into the thick of things, though, as there's Leaper's Cleanse and Casting, trying to get up there, but he can't really do it. Dudu is just a monster as Beryl's flashing away, and they've lost both of their carries, and now Leaper, Ooh. oh, another just explosion of crit damage on top of this Renekton. Beryl can't do anything in their debut match of summer leaper comes out and says world championship bottom lane nah that's not what i'm interested in another hook for andil and the quantum freaks take the 2-0 definitely felt like a team effort uh in this one certainly did